Hello, it's Victor from ScaffCalc. Today I'm going to show you ScaffCalc 4, which is the next generation scaffolding software that we have built for you, the scaffolders out there in the world. So, ScaffCalc is a web-based software. You can read more about it over here at scaffcalc.com. Here's the app. You don't have to download anything. You just go straight into new scaffold here. You can do some settings like changing the language, changing the appearance, like light mode and dark mode. And you can go for a tutorial if you would like to learn the software. This is the 3D world. Here's the camera, so you can actually change the position of everything. If you press space, you will jump straight to your building or your scaffold. I like to toggle this button, which makes the perspective different. It's more flat now. And this side is the materials. They will be stacking up here as you go. Here are your tools that you have, like a scaffold. You have uh, different house shapes. You have ground components, blueprint and measurements. This is box mode or real mode. Box mode is where you design and real mode is where you check components and maybe delete components and change the appearance of the details. On the side here are your settings. So I usually start with picking a folder, naming it, and I continue all the way down here. But let's just create the bay so I can show you how the scaffold settings work. So I'm here in the world now. I can press and hold and drag to create a facade scaffolding. Something like that. And as you see, it's a bit naked right now. So we would like to give it some plankings maybe, give it some diagonals over here. And uh, maybe add some stairs and stuff. And that's all possible. So I go to box mode. I take the first one here, or all of them. I hold shift and click on everyone to get them all. Then I give it planking material, steel in this situation. I can give them consoles on the back if I would like, and you can see them popping up right there. Consoles. On the first and the last one, I would actually like to give them diagonals, so on the outer part. And I would like to give them a zigzag pattern. So you can see it in real mode here, it looks like that. So very quickly I can get the facade scaffolding going right here. And if I would like to create a corner on this one, I could place myself on top of this scaffold, drag myself over here, I press on Bay, I give it some steel planks, and I press Command E. And here I have different options on what type of uh, corner I would like to create. Let's try this one. As you can see, I have created my corner. They are sharing a specific standard. We can get into detail with these different corner types in a later video. But here I'm holding shift to get 45 degree, degree angles. If I don't do that, I will get any angle possible. Yeah. So, place myself over there. I'll check it. And real mode. And this is what it looks like. But as you can see, there are guardrails in the way here. These ones. I would like to get rid of them. I just press them and I hold shift to select more of them. And I can command backspace and delete them. So this is something that's new for ScaffCalc 4. You can actually take away components that you don't want or eliminate them. And in a future update, you will be able to add different components as well. Yeah, that's a very quick introduction to the scaffolds. Adding to that, you can create buildings like this. Maybe you would like to create a shape that's a bit odd. Or you would like to create a regular house shape, like a square like that. With uh, like a garage or something on the side. That's a very simple to do as well. Maybe that's four meter high. This one could be six meter high, and this part would be four meters as well. 
Adding a roof is very simple as well. You just do something like that. I'm overhang on that one. There we go. If I want to create scaffolds around this building, I just press Bay. I do my settings. I change this to four meters and I press enter. And I just drag and drop. And I can see that this one is a bit too far off the building, so I will decrease the length of that one to 207 instead. And this is what I get. So the possibilities are endless in this software. We can also do sloping grounds. I'll show you that in a second. This is requested from Norwegian customers that have lots of mountains with buildings on them. So maybe it looks something like that. Then you have a, a building standing something like this. Then you can easily create scaffoldings over there as well. I can see that it actually understands where the ground is and it will create scaffolding accordingly. And on the side, you can see all of your material as well as the materialist right here. You can export these ones into CSV, Excel or PDF. This is just a few features in Scaffold 4. There are a lot more to it and I will show you that in a future video. The most interesting part would probably be the maps tool in which you can actually pick a building from the map and create automated scaffoldings around that. Thanks a lot for checking out this video and I hope that you will continue to watch the videos as well as get in contact if you would like to have a look at this more in depth. Thank you.